Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources. Today's topic is going to be pre and post operative care, and let's start with the first question. Um, in the management of severe hypercalcemia, all of the following agents are used except thiazide diuretics, furosemide, prednisone, mithromycin, and infused phosphate. So the question here relies on your understanding of treating hypercalcemia. Keep in mind that high-dose glucocorticoids and mithromycin both oppose mobilization of skeletal calcium and are useful in the initial treatment of hypercalcemia of any cause. Um, and so understand that mithromycin is not the answer here. The potent loop diuretics such as furosemide um, they increase calcium clearance and are especially useful when the combined saline infusions um, help promote a naturesis. Phosphate infusions reduce the calcium concentrations by raising the calcium phosphorus product. Unfortunately, the resultant uh, extraskeletal deposition of calcium is potentially dangerous and deaths have been resulted from this type of therapy. Unlike furosemide, however, thiazide diuretics do not block the active reabsorption of calcium by the distal tubule. By inducing depletion of volume and increasing proximal tubular reabsorption of all components of the glomerular filtrate, thiazide diuretics may in fact cause hypercalcemia and therefore the answer here is thiazide diuretics and it's important to understand this high yield fact. Um, and uh, so that's you know our first case. The second case is a 45 year old woman with Crohn's disease and a small intestinal fistula develops tetany during second week of parenteral nutrition. The laboratory includes calcium levels of 8.2, sodium of 135, potassium of 3.2, chloride of 103, phosphate of 2.4, albumin of 2.4, pH of 7.4, PCO2 of 38, and PO2 of 84 and the bicarb is 25. Now, the most likely cause of the tetany is due to is it hyperventilation, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia, essential fatty acid deficiency, or is it focal seizure? Understand the answer here is going to be hypomagnesia. And magnesium deficiency is caused by malnourished patients and um, patients with large intestinal gastric uh, fluid losses. The neuromuscular effects resemble those of calcium deficiency, uh, namely paresthesias, reflexia, muscle spasm, and ultimately tetany. The cardiac effects are more like those of hypocalcemia, and an electrocardiogram therefore provides a rapid means of differentiating between hypocalcemia and hypomagnesia. Hypomagnesia also causes potassium wasting by the kidney, and many hospitals and patients with refractory hypocalcemia will be found to be magnesium deficient. Often this deficiency becomes manifested during the response to parenteral nutrition when normal cellular gradients are restored. A normal blood pH and arterial PCO2 rule out um, hyperventilation. Also, the serum calcium in this patient is normal when adjusted for low albumin. Hypomagnesia causes functional hypoparathyroidism, uh, which can lower serum calcium, resulting in a combined defect. That's uh, our review for today. Please visit comlexflashcards.com for additional lectures and blog posts and resources as you prepare for the Comlex board exam. Again, that's comlexflashcards.com. Good luck in your preparation for the boards.